Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today I'm going to share with you my top five techniques for learning software development. So number five, just binge watch a software dev YouTuber. Here I have some of the ones that I like to watch. Uh, Traverse Media, he's like a base fundamentals uh, channel to watch. Those framework tutorials and developer roadmaps. Uh, the next one, Web Dev Simplified. He just has an interesting uh, coding content that you can watch. Uh, very interesting content. Hussein Nasser, he does backend uh, tutorials mostly and some like networking stuff, which I don't really understand, but it's still interesting to watch and like just get a high level overview of what's happening. Uh, there's programming with Mosh, which is more beginner friendly uh, coding tutorials. He has super long tutorials for beginners and they're pretty easy to follow along to. The next one is the Primogen. This guy I just recently started watching. He does entertaining backend development and uh, uses Vim. And he's super fast, Worked at works at Netflix. Uh, very cool um, panel. Clever Programmer. I watched him for a little while. I don't really watch him too much anymore, but they were great for motiv motivating me to get better at software development. Uh, and they also have a bunch of tutorials and follow along tutorials as well. Uh, so number four is you follow along with these development tutorials. So number five, you just binge watch them. Uh, you don't really have to do much else, but follow along tutorials from Traverse Media, uh, Mosh, Clever Programmer, and then also Lee Holiday. I have been watching him uh, a little bit for the years. Afterwards, you just try and add a feature to the tutorial you followed along with, or you can build your own project with a framework that you just followed along with. Number three, read documentation and do starter projects. Uh, here, uh, there's a bunch of frameworks that have starter projects, or they have like an interactive tutorial. In this case, Angular is a really good one. They have like this uh, superhero uh, starter project. That you can just follow along with the documentation for Ember.js. They have like a, a house um, one, Next.js and Gatsby. Uh, I can't really. Maybe they do blog ones. I think um, View. They just have an interactive like um, editor, and also Svelte has an interactive editor for helping you learn those things. Uh, those are uh, great. These are all great frameworks to learn. They have some nice tools for learning them as well. Number two, going to a dedicated software teaching website. In this case, it would be like Free Code Camp, Code Academy, uh, Solo Learn. This one is great on your phone. Uh, Code Wars is just puzzles. You've seen me do that. A few paid ones. I haven't really tried these, but I hear they're good. Like Team Treehouse, I hear they're good. You got to pay for them. Uh, Code Mentor, uh, you actually can get a dedicated mentor, but you got to obviously pay for that mentor as well. Elite code is like Code Wars, except you pay for it. And uh, maybe there's harder challenges. It's more like formal in a way. Uh, build your idea from scratch. So this is number one. If you want to learn software development, you have to build your own ideas from scratch. Um, it'll keep you motivated. Um, some project ideas are a recipe website, a portfolio website, a Pokedex, a news website or like a clicker idle game. And when you get stuck, when you're trying to build this, just look up the solution and it's a, the best way for concepts to stick and some more ideas for you. So here you could do a, like a cookie clicker game. Here I built this one with React, you could do that. You could do like a recipe website. You could do a Pokemon Pokedex app. Here we're searching through Pokemon, and then we have a detailed view with their stats. You could build something like that. You could do a, a bank, like just copy whatever is on Ally Bank and just start making that with React or, or whatever framework work you want. And then also uh, you could do like a Zillow type of project as well. That would be very helpful. Uh, yeah, there's my top five. Number five, I mean, binge watch a software dev YouTuber. Four, follow along with dev tutorials. Three, read documentation to starter projects. Two, going to a dedicated software teaching website. And 
a number one, a builder ID from scratch. I highly recommend that. You need to do that. All right. Thank you. And I will see you later. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. I'll read the comments and I'll see you later. Bye.